All right, everyone, we are back again. You know, setting up for this tutorial, I kind of learned a couple of new things. And I'd actually would like to uh, go over those at the end of this tutorial. So the beginning of this tutorial is going to be how to slow-mo your footage without affecting your Fusion Comp. Here is the example. So we got that CG coming in. And it's a 10-frame animation. No Beziers or anything. Let's go to the beginning of our animation. Right there, we're going to drop a marker right there. Right there on the timeline. Now I'm going to right click, go to speed, and let's just pop in 30, 33% uh, percent there. See how my animation is moved further down the timeline, affecting what's within the fusion comp. So here's the fusion comp. How do we get to not do that? So I'm going to undo that speed ramp. There's that. I'm just going to copy this one on over by holding my control and dragging that on over. Let's jump back into, into this. I'm going to copy this on out. And then let's do our speed ramp. 33%. Now, slam that into a new compound clip. Name that whatever you want. Jump back into Fusion. See how our footage is nice and slow now? I'm going to paste this on in. And let's see where that animation lies. Animation is lying right in the same spot where it was before. So that's the workaround for it. Support me today by listening to my music via the links below. Contact me via the Facebook link below to become a sponsor and to get our sponsorship pricing tiers. What I learned is jumping into this original clip that's not slow mode or anything. This media has our frames from the original source. So here's the Fusion Comp. It's 14,872 frames, and it goes down to 15,028. So that's the entire length of that clip. And I have this animation right there on that, on that clip. But it's referencing where it is on the clip instead of where it is on the timeline. I want it to be able to reference where it is on the timeline, those keyframes to be locked in to the timeline. To do that, I then turn this into a compound clip. If I jump on in the fusion, it's referencing the timeline. Well, I guess it's not referencing the timeline. See, I'm kind of learning a little bit more about this. It's referencing the start of that clip. So that the start of that compound clip starts at zero. So if I put those keyframes down at frame 40, they are going to be right there instead of referencing the actual clip frames. Hopefully that makes sense. To me, you know, I'm kind of new with, uh, with Resolve, and that was kind of like, what, why is it doing this? I'm not a big fan of that. I, I'd rather have the keyframes representing the time on the actual timeline, not referencing the compound clip, the footage, the time, the timeline should be my lock. And that's where all keyframes should reside. If there's a, a setting I can, I can manipulate in there, please leave a comment on that. Cause man, that would, that would hugely help me out. All right. That's all I got today. And that's three minutes to edit. Thanks a lot for watching.